diabetes is too vast, too important and too important to be left to the care of single speciality. Therefore, a multidisciplinary, multi-professional, multi-sectoral approach is needed to manage diabetes. Within the discipline of medicine, at various times within the journey of a person living with diabetes, different specialists may be required. While most things can be handled by primary care physician, there may be a need to consult specialist. So let me talk about the role of different specialists in the management of diabetes. This slide is talking that a diabetes is a disease of a diabetologist or endocrinologist and we all agree with that that yes, it is required by it is to be treated by diabetologist or endocrinologist if primary care physicians need more specialists to treat diabetic patients. But as we know that two thirds of our diabetic patients, they develop cardiac complications and there may be a cardiologist is required for them also to be treated in diabetic patients too. In nephrological problems, a diabetic patient may require kidney specialist. He may also need a vascular surgeon because of peripheral vascular disease. He may require cardiothoracic surgeon because he is having, may develop cardiac problem and may require bypass surgery. He may require neurologist, a diabetic patient who may develop diabetes and brain complication. He may require psychiatrist because of psychiatric problem with diabetic patients. He may need gastroenterologist because of diabetes is closely linked with nephelt, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, diabetic with liver problem and diabetic with autonomic nervous system dysfunction of GI system. And very commonly a diabetic patients need ophthalmologist or a retina specialist as they are more prone to develop the eye complication and particularly retinal complication is a part of diabetes microvascular complication. So a diabetic patients require multiple specialists as they develop different type of complications or even sometimes they need all these specialists for prevention of the complications to have in a diabetic patients. So why a multidisciplinary team is needed? As I explained you, the different specialists are required because a diabetologist and an endocrinologist will be required when there is a difficulty in controlling diabetes. To understand that person is developing unexplained hypoglycemia, the glycemic variability is high or person is having uh, a medication which is not getting or getting his some complications of the medications or there is a side effects of the medication. The patients may require as I told you the cardiologist very often because two thirds of our diabetic patients they develop cardiac problem and they may require even a vascular surgeon or a cardiothoracic surgeon if there is a more problem related to heart or a peripheral vascular disease. The similar way ophthalmologist is required for retinal microvascular complication and other microvascular complication of diabetes like retinopathy and other eye problem. For a nephrologist is required for controlling the diabetes kidney disease and once the person develop diabetic kidney disease or even an end stage kidney disease then they need nephrologist for a regular follow up and then further management of these renal complications is to be treated by nephrologist. Gastroenterologist, general surgeon, or a GI system problem or a hepatology, they are all are the complications a diabetic patient can have. Neurologist and a neurosurgeon, as I told you diabetic patients require sometime neurologist or even neurosurgeon also as they are more prone to have diabetes and stroke. One very important specialty which is psychologist or a psychiatrist is often required in diabetic patients as diabetic patients are more prone to develop depression and even depression or some of the antidepressant or some of the antipsychotic medication also can increase the sugar level too. A person who is diabetes or a children with diabetes, they may need pediatrician for their regular follow up and sometimes a geriatric patients who is above the age of 65 or 70, they may require other than primary care physician, diabetologist and a geriatrician too. When we are dealing with gestational diabetes mellitus, this is a diabetes which happens during pregnancy. So a regular follow-up with obstetrician along with diabetologist is often needed in a person with GDM. So it is actually specialist orchestra and the diabetologist. But a diabetologist should identify the conductor and of the orchestra of these different specialists. Planning and detecting referral of the patients at an appropriate time of screening. 
and they should also direct them at a right person at a right point of time for diagnosis management of complications of diabetes so a diabetologist is required to identify these different complications or sometime these different comorbidity with a diabetic patients can have and then rightly direct them to a right specialist doctor 